Hello family, how's everybody today? I'm back with another live broadcast. I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving, enjoyed their holiday, and are doing well today. I'm glad to be with you all. This is Lisa, and I praise God and give thanks because God is worthy for all the praise and all the joy. He's a mighty God. He's an awesome God, and I just love the Lord. Today, my lesson is going to be on... Why did God tell Paul that his grace was sufficient? You know, sometimes we go through problems and trials in our lives. And we, we ask the Lord, we say, Lord, please help us, help us. And God says, my grace is sufficient. So one time it was spoken to me when I was laying down. The devil tried to come up against me. But God said that my grace is sufficient. So what did the Lord mean when he says that? So in the Bible, in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, Paul begged God to take away his thorn. And God said, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 12, 9. All the glory should go to God, to Jesus Christ. His grace, the grace is, means the free and unmerited favor of God as manifested in the salvation of sinners and the bestowal of blessings and sufficient. It's capable of meeting obligations, responsible, self-satisfied, equal to the end. Proposed, adequate, wants enough, ample, and competent. So when God's grace is sufficient for us, it's unmerited favor from God. He means it, it, it's capable of meeting our needs. Whatever it is, God can solve it for us. So we are not too worthy to worry or we are not to fear because his grace is sufficient for us. It's adequate. It's enough for us. So we are not to worry. Where we, When we are weak, then we are made strong through the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So Paul's revelations in 2 Corinthians, he said, It is not expedient for me doubtless to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knoweth, such and one caught cannot tell. Once such and one caught up to the third heaven, and I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body I cannot tell, God knoweth. How that he was caught up into paradise, and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. Of such an one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in my infirmities. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool. I will say the truth, but now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be. Or that he heareth of me. Paul's thorn in God's grace. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, three times that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches, and necessities, and persecutions, and distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong, concerned for the Corinth church. 
I am become a fool in glorifying. Ye have compelled me, for I ought to have been commended of you. For nothing am I behind the very chiefest apostles. Though I be nothing, truly the signs of an apostle were wrought among you in all patience, and signs and wonders, and mighty deeds. For what it is wherein you were inferior to other churches, except it be that I myself was not burdensome to you. Forgive me this wrong. Behold, third time I am ready to come to you, and I will not be burdensome to you, for I seek not yours, but you, for the children are not to lay up for the parents, but the parents for the children. I love you, the less I be loved, but be it so, I did not burden you. Nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with guile. I make a gain of you by any of them whom I sent unto you, desired Titus, and with him I sent a brother. Did Titus make a gain of you? Walk we not in the same spirit, walk we not in the same steps. Again, think ye that we excuse ourselves unto you. We speak before God in Christ, but we do all things, dearly beloved, for your edifying. For I fear lest, when I come, I shall not find you such as I would, and that I, and that I shall be found unto you such as ye would not. Lest there be debates, evians, wraths, strifes, backbitings, whisperings, swellings, tumults, and lest, when I come again, my God will humble me among you, and that I shall be well. Many which have sinned already, and have not repented of the uncleanness, unclean, uncleanness and fornication and lasciviousness which they have committed. So Paul is speaking to the Corinth church. And he was asking God to take the thorn from him. You know, because he didn't feel like he was the right person for the job but God God tells us that his grace is sufficient sometimes we don't want to do things that God want us to do or we feel like we're not capable of doing certain things in our lives but God is an able God he's able he's God Almighty he can do all things he's our strength and weakness so when we feel like we can't go on or we can't do something we're made strong through God, through Christ, because we are we are Christ-like, and we are made in the image of the Lord. And um, just as in Philippians 4.13, God says, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. So that, that is our strength. We, we are the flesh, but, but God is the spirit, and he gives his strength to us. So that we can stand and do the things that he asks for us to do. Whether we are to um, speak the word for us to someone, um, to encourage others, to read the Bible, or to walk daily with God's presence around them, to seek the anointing of God, to seek God's face. Um, the Lord Jesus Christ is worthy to be praised and anytime you're going throughout life throughout your day um, throughout different situations um, and you feel like you're inadequate for something or you have a low self-esteem you know Jesus grace is sufficient for you you know he's able to carry you no matter what um, in life you partake or what's going on in your life god is worthy he's able to get you through each and everything everything that i've gone through in my life you know the good the bad and the ugly god has been right there to help me through it all you know as as the song says through it all through it all i made it through it all you know jesus is our best friend you know and with him we can make it through, through everything, you know, so don't ever give up.
or, or feel like you're just unable to finish because if you start it, Jesus could help you finish it. So just don't be discouraged. Just stay encouraged because Jesus is worthy, everybody. So this is just a small lesson for people to know that God's grace is sufficient for us. So I would just like to say a, a brief prayer um, to the Lord um, that his grace is sufficient for, for us all. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, the Father of God, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, the Father of us all, Lord. We glorify your name. We reverence you, Father God, that your anointing just be on this word, Lord, and just touch each and every person that's listening, Lord, that's subscribing and viewing you, this channel, Father God. May you just bless them, Father, and let them know that your grace is sufficient to sustain them and keep them in their lives. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, yeah, so just go knowing that Jesus is worthy and his grace is sufficient for you. Don't never give up. Because Jesus will not give up on you and um, give God thanks each and every day because he is so worthy to be praised. May the good Lord bless you and keep you, sustain you. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you.